Hey everybody, I'm here with another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make your screen shake after a shot. It's been used in some of my videos and people have been asking me about it, so here I go. So first we're going to start a new project here. Custom settings. Alright, I'm going to import our clip here. Let me change these settings real quick. So here I have my regular video. So we have to work with. So as you can see, I got a shot here. And what I'm gonna try to do is make an effect where the screen shakes as soon as I get the shot. So what I'm gonna do is cut the part where I want to make the screen shake. So I'm gonna wanna make a shake right here and end it after a shot, just like that. We're gonna zoom up, you can just scroll up with your wheel, zoom up, make the time line bigger. Alright, so now we have the two parts cut where we want the screen to shake. So what we wanna do is click uh, the pan crop event, and it brings up this menu here. And this is a very powerful menu. It allows you to keyframe, so your camera moves in and out, and stuff like that. So let's begin. So down here we have another timeline, which goes through the video. What we're going to do is time frame where we want the camera to move in different locations and make it look like it's shaking basically. So, what we want to do is make the camera a little bit smaller from the screen. Not too small, but just a little smaller from the edge, just like this, okay? We're going to move forward in the timeline, one frame, and we're going to move the whole thing like up to a corner and as you can see it creates a frame we're going to move over another frame and it creates another keyframe so what we're going to do just move over one frame and just move the camera and make sure it doesn't go out like all the way up here because then you'll see the black border over here that you see so just keep moving it around just like this this kind of quick here just like that just got the kill here okay here I'm gonna center it back up and in the next keyframe I'll make it back to the regular size gotta line it up perfectly you don't want little black edges showing and whatnot. Okay, just like that. Alright, so now we can exit this. So as you can see, if you go through this, you can see it shaking. And that's pretty much it. Before I show you how the final outcome looks, I just want to say if you have any questions about Sony Vegas, you want me to make a tutorial on something, message me about it and I'll get around to it if I know it or not and yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching and if you do it right it should look something like this